Yes, yes. Welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, I've been loving my slim, minimalist wallets here on this channel, and today is no different. I just picked up the Travax Summit Notebook. So what makes this wallet different from everything else you've seen on the market? Well, let's open this box and let's find out. So just like every other Travax products, it comes in this nice black box with a sliding sleeve. So when you turn it around to the back side, it says growing an American company, uh, donating to nonprofits, and it is proudly made in the US of A. And just like any other Travax wallets, it does come with a 65 year heirloom warranty. But enough about the boring back of the box. Let's check this thing out. The first thing you see is it comes with instructions. And the instructions are for if you already have a Summit wallet, they sell these, um, the Summit sleeve, this leather Summit sleeve, separately so you can turn your Summit, your current Summit wallet into the Summit notebook. And then you turn it around the back, it shows you how to thread that nylon strap and all that good stuff. But let's put that to the side. And I know a lot of you like to know who made the wallets I review here, and Travax tells you who makes it. And right there inside, it looks like Katana made my wallet. All right, so here's the wallet itself. Um, it's made of this oiled, uh, what is it, Latiago leather, they say. Ooh, car just came out. It's their chestnut color, and I think it only comes in the one color. Um, if you look at it closely, it has this really nice nylon stitching around the seams here, and that's holding in the pen here. You got the pen pocket on the outside. I think you can get this without the pen pocket, but I went with um, the pen pocket, I got the one with the pen and already assembled. I just bought it all in one unit. So I didn't have to buy these things separately and put it together myself because I didn't already have a Summit wallet. And you can see here, it looks very familiar if you guys do have the Summit. And all you have to do is take this little strap and thread it through the actual leather sleeve and there you go, you have yourself a notebook. And that little card that fell out is the, the typical card you see with Travax products. Just welcomes you to the company and uh, you scan this little QR code with your phone, takes it to a nice YouTube video and there you go. Also, take a look at here, you have stamped Made in the USA and the Travax logo right here stamped around the front. That's pretty much it for the outside. So let's take a look at this inside here. It does have this notebook and this is what made this thing kind of interesting in my eyes because this is supposed to be weatherproof paper along with this Fisher uh, bullet space pen, which I'll get to shortly. I wanna talk about these, but we'll put these to the side for now. Inside is the Summit wallet and it is marked here with the patent number. And then you got the Travax etched in the upper corner right here. So you can see how it just loops right through the sleeve here. And I really, really like this design. I've seen other reviewers that had the Summit wallet say this thing is basically bulletproof and it is one of their favorite everyday carry wallets that they have. I never ended up getting the Summit wallet. I think it was too basic. It's just a frame, you know, it's just a piece of metal with a nylon loop. You put your cards in and call it a day. When I saw this, I just had to get it. Um, right here is where your cards go. And of course it has the classic ID cutout that Travax is known for. So let's get a few cards. I always carry five cards with me at all times. So one, two, three, four, five. So the way it works, got this little slot here in the front and you just put the cards in. And I don't know exactly how many cards this can carry, but um, it carries five pretty effortlessly. And it looks like it can carry as much as this strap will let you. As you can see, you can tighten and loosen this strap and then you can just carry as many cards as you want to, I guess. It's a little thicker than what I'm used to, but still not as thick as my old uh, George Costanza trifold wallet that I used to have. So this thickness right here, I can deal with. And of course, once you have your cards in there, this little ID window here also acts like just a quick access to your cards. You can just slide them up and there you go. And when we close it up, you can see right here in the upper corner, we have this little attachment point. You can put, you know, maybe a nylon strap, a tail there. Um, me, myself, I'm not gonna put anything there. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now this doesn't have any auto tensioning, meaning like if you had some elastic or, uh, you know, some silicone, like a silicone strap holding it together like other minimalist wallets I've reviewed before. So that means if you do take a few of these cards out, 
it does become loose in there and nothing holds these other cards in place. Like, you know, like I was saying, like an elastic strap or something like that. So uh, you do have to keep that in mind when you do have this wallet and you're taking cards out of it. And if you look right here, this is the spot where you can put some cash. If you do still like carrying cash on you, and I do have five bills here. So what I would do is fold this in half first, put this under the little money clip there, and then fold it back over like that, and then close your wallet up. So it's actually a pretty nice secure system that they have here. Um, those of you with the Summit wallet already know this, but um, it's actually not my favorite money clip that I've seen. Even though I don't think these five bills will go anywhere, you can see the corners here. It has a nice little spot for it to sit in right there. Um, and once you fold it over, I think, you know, this is five bills and, you know, fold it over once. I feel like it's too thick for this wallet to make sense to carry this many bills. Um, they do have a little pocket right here. So maybe this pocket where the notebook sits would make more sense if you carry more bills because that actually doesn't feel too bad to me. It might add a little more thickness than what you want, but um, once again, just keep that in mind if you have more bills that you like to carry. This might not be the wallet for you. All right, now let's talk about why I thought this wallet was interesting. Um, of course, you can get it without these accessories, but this is part of the reason why I wanted this wallet. So it comes with this uh, this 20 page all weather pocket notebook and it does fit right there in that little sleeve. So let's put that back in there, just like that. It does have the Trayvax logo right on the front. Also, what's really interesting is it comes with this Fisher uh, bullet space pen. Now, if you guys don't know about this pen, it has this pressurized uh, nitrogen inside of the cartridge. So it's constantly pushing the ink out. So this thing can basically write in space. It can write under water. It can write upside down. When I read about what this thing can do, I was really, really intrigued. Also, it says that it can write in temperatures from negative 30 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, you're never gonna be in that situation. Well, maybe here in Buffalo. <laughs> sometimes negative 30, but 250 degrees Celsius seems a little extreme, but it's pretty cool that it does have that ability to um, you know, still operate in extreme situations. Water, extreme cold, extreme heat. In my job, sometimes I have to quickly jot down notes and sometimes it is raining, sometimes it's snowing. So I figured that this combination, if I had to jot down a note really quick, would be absolutely perfect to already have in one nice little package like Trayvax kind of assembled with this uh, Summit notebook. Also, it's really, really small. So if I measure this, take out my tape measure here. So it measures about closed. It measures about right around three and a half inches right there, if you guys can see that. And when you take off the cap and put it to the other side, it becomes right around five inches long. So when you're writing, it feels more like a normal pen. And when it's closed up, it's super, super small where, look at that, it can fit right in this little pocket and you don't even know that you have it, which is fantastic. Otherwise, if I need to jot something down, I'm opening up my phone, I'm going to the notes section and I'm typing out little notes here. Take the pen out, boom, jot it down. Don't have to worry about rain. This thing is great. Also talking about that rain, I'm actually gonna attempt to write underwater with this pen and one of these weatherproof pages. So uh, I'm gonna go grab something, grab some water and uh, test that out. All right, here I am, I'm back with a bowl of water. Got the Fisher space pen here. And I'm just gonna take a page out of this 20 page weatherproof notebook that Trayvax gave me. Gonna tear it right out. Okay, now if you just dip it in the water, it looks like it kind of just runs right off. So that's actually pretty nice. You can see it kind of beating up there. What I want to do is actually put it right in the water and see if this thing can write. So let's see, should I write? Oh, wow. Check that out. Not the greatest handwriting because it's underwater, 
But look at that, guys. Totally works. It's like it smears a little bit. Let me see what happens. Yeah. Not much, though. I think that happened when I was first under the water because like, my thumb kind of hit it. But look at that. Pretty impressive. Um, not that I would ever be writing completely submerged underwater, but this thing claims it can write in the rain. Yeah, those claims are 100% true. And uh, this paper is holding up. This isn't bad. So I would say that's a pass for the weatherproof paper in the notebook and this uh, Fisher uh, bullet space pen. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think about the Trayvax Summit notebook? I actually think this is a great idea. Is it an everyday carry? Eh, I don't I don't think so. I can't see myself reaching for this over my Ridge wallet or even my Trayvax element. I think this is gonna be reserved for uh, days at work uh, when I know I'm gonna have to be writing down notes. Things of that nature, I think this is gonna be great for. But as an everyday carry, if I get bored with one of my other wallets, I might grab this, but it's not gonna be my first choice. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys out there have the Summit and turned it into the Summit Notebook or planning on purchasing this as a combo like I did. Also, the Ridge Wallet giveaway is still going. I think I have 16 out of 100 entries so far, so we're still a little bit away from me giving away those wallets. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna put a link right above here to the video. Watch to the end of that video to see how you can enter and win one of two Ridge Wallets or one of the two knockoffs. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go! Uh, what is it, Latiago leather, they say. Ooh.